Okay, once you have your audio, you could just drag and drop it to the empty space. Please make sure you're adding each uh, downloaded audio to an empty space right down here in GarageBand. Just drag it to this little empty space. Don't keep adding audio to the same audio track. So every single one gets its own audio track. All right, let's take a listen to what this uh, particular audio sounds like. So I'm going to solo my track and I want to take a listen here. And this is what it sounds like. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Fabulous. Great. Now I want you to hear this against the click because I loaded it up here and you're going to see that the click, um, I'll move this over so you can hear it begin and then listen to how it just does not line up. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. It's pretty close, but it's not exact. And uh, depending upon your tempo and where you're at, it might uh, be even worse. So I'm going to zoom in, go up to the upper right corner and zoom in. And I'm going to show you how to edit audio. So what you're really looking for is where the word begins right there. Some of these are not clear. So you'll begin to hear why it's important when you speak for recordings to make sure that you're enunciating your words quite clearly. So I might have done well to coach this person to say one instead of one. You hear how that is? Listen to this. One, two, yeah. three. So we're going to do the best we can. I'll take this off so you can hear it. So it's very simple to edit the audio. The very first thing we want to do is split them up into sections. So I'm going to put my cursor in between where the audio is. You can see it visually. I'll go to the edit pull down menu and say split region at playhead and it's command T. So let's take a list. Let's see what happens. Splits it. There it is. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Command T and do the same thing in between here. Command T. Now I'm going to rubber band select these and just move them out of my way for a second. What I want to do is also get this much more clear. This thing at the beginning and this thing at the end, you see the line at the beginning and the end? These are tails. That's what they're called, tails. They kind of look like a tail, right? So I want to trim this in to the tail, and you might want to do it there also. We're going to move this in, and what I really want to do is get that one right on the click. So let's hear it. One. Well, it's close. We can probably get a little closer. Now, it might start before, and that's okay. See, that's why we always put our music at measure two. Let's take a listen. One. One. So for me, that sounds like it's working. The, really, the best way to find out is to see what happens when all the music is playing. One. Great. Now, I'm going to take a uh, solo this again. I'm going to put my cursor at the second beat. So I've zoomed in. Might be too much. But here's the second beat, the third beat, and the fourth beat. And you guessed it. I'm going to edit the tail. I'm going to move this over. I'll use my scroll bar, my cursor here, my scroll bar to line this up right there on two, and I'm, and I'm going to move the tail in. I'm going to get to three, and you know I have to then clean it up, move the tail in. I think that's going to be where three is. That's called a transient. You're going to see that right there. And then I'm going to call, go right here, and I think four starts really crisp right on the word four. And you could zoom in even more if you want to, if you really want to get that precise. See? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And then you get really, really pre precise. You don't have to trim the tail that precisely in the front or the back, but you do want to align it pretty precisely. All right, let's take a listen to what it sounds like with the click. I'll make it a little smaller and see how we did. Here's the click is on. One, two, three, four. Great. I may need to adjust that three a little bit. I didn't like the sound. The only way you're going to know is if you move things around and listen to it and check it out. That's it.